Hey y'all, I'm Courtney and welcome back to the Browse Bunch or welcome if you're new here. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my favorite white chicken chili with you guys. I'll have all of the ingredients in the description of how I make it. So if you want to screenshot it or write it down for your recipe books, then you can. And I will. this is part of Crocktober and I'll be sharing a Crockpot meal video every single Wednesday in October. And if that sounds as awesome to you as it does to me, then make sure you subscribe and have your notification bell turned on so that you don't miss out on any of those videos in the future but let's get on into the chili okay i am so excited to be sharing this white chicken chili with you guys it is our family's absolute favorite i've made it for several years and this may look like quite a bit of ingredients but other than chopping up the veggies there's really not much to it you just got to chop up the onion and mince some garlic cut up the jalapeno and de-seed it and then cut up the green pepper too so that's it everything else is pretty much dump and go so i am going to do like a quick little overview of all of the ingredients but they will be listed in the description box below like i said in the beginning of the video for you guys because i know that that makes it a lot easier when you go to make these recipes so i've got two chicken breasts here that i'm going to be putting in the bottom of the crock pot and then I've got a jalapeno that I'm going to be de-seeding and cutting up, a green pepper, um, four cloves of garlic, and then I have this onion, and it is quite large, so I probably won't use the whole thing, but if I had a smaller onion, then I would use that and just um, cut up that whole onion. And then I've got a can of black beans, a can of corn, a can of rotel. This is the chili fixings kind and it turned out just fine. It was just a little bit darker for the chili. And then I've got two cans of the white kidney beans, the cannellini beans. I'm also using a ranch seasoning packet, a whole um, block of cream cheese, some chili powder, white pepper, cumin, onion powder, and garlic powder. So the first thing I started with was slicing up all of the veggies. Now I've got four cloves of garlic that I'm going to peel and mince. I really think that using fresh garlic in these kind of dishes adds a lot of flavor. Now to get everything into the crock pot, I'm going to start with the chicken in the bottom of it and then sprinkle that ranch seasoning packet right on top. And then for the other seasonings, we've got a teaspoon of chili powder. And right here I'm showing you the prime example of why I really like those other measuring spoons because they actually fit into the jars of spices. They're double-sided and magnetic, so they all stick together. But the double sides have one skinny side and then a round side. And I absolutely love them. They were just in the dishwasher that day. Then one teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of onion powder. And then to finish off the spices, we've got one more teaspoon of garlic powder and then half a teaspoon of white pepper. Next, I added in the whole block of cream cheese. You could cut it up into little cubes, but I think it broke down fine. And when I was mixing it up, it mixed together really well. And then I also added in all of the veggies. And then the last thing is to dump in all of the cans. So I've got my two cans of cannellini beans and I did lightly drain both of those. Mm -hmm. 
Then I have the can of Rotel, just dumping that straight on top of the rest of it. Then I added in a whole can of corn. I lightly drained that can of corn and then I actually like to add part of a can of water on top of that too. Um, but first I'm gonna add in my rinsed and drained black beans. And I did add the whole can. You don't have to add the whole can though, if you don't want to. And then I did one fourth a cup probably of the water just poured on top to make it a little bit more juicy. Then I just put the lid on and you can cook this on low for six to eight hours or high for four to six. I decided to cook mine on high for about four and a half hours. My chicken was thawed out and I feel like my crock pot's a little hot. So that's what I did for mine. And here it is when it is done. It looks so good, especially after you stir it up really good. I did take the chicken out to shred a little bit. You could use a mixer. Honestly, this chicken was very tender and was just falling apart when I was taking it out. So it was absolutely perfect. So I got all of the chicken put back in and stirred up really well, and then it was ready to serve. I served mine with some Fritos on the side with some shredded cheese and a couple slices of jalapenos. So here it is, here's how it turned out. You can garnish it however you like. This is just how I like to have mine. And y'all, this chili is so, so good. I've tweaked it over the years to perfection in my opinion. So if you try it, I would love to hear about it here on YouTube or over on Instagram. It's at the Browse Bunch there as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I would love to have you subscribe so that I can see you in the next Crock-Pot Meal video, which will be next Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye y'all.